As masks are coming off, viruses in kids are going up. Local doctors say that they have seen a spike in visits to clinics in recent months. And Fox 5's Jeff McAdam joins us live outside Rady Children's Hospital in Kearney Mesa with the details. Jeff. Hey, Andrew, yeah, we spoke to a doctor here who says, uh, you know, seeing an increase in a lot of these uh, common colds, flus, things like that here in children, which is a little rare because those are mostly winter uh, sicknesses. They say they're also seeing an increase in other viruses, too. In the past three weeks, the country has relaxed many of its restrictions, and doctors say many of us have relaxed our hygienic habits, too. We were very careful during the pandemic. Everyone was washing their hands, wearing their masks, keeping their distance away from not big globs of kids coming together with their germs, so to speak. And so now that we've started to do that more, we're starting to see, kind of see it open up a little bit more. Pediatric cardiologist Ryan Alonzo on with Kaiser Permanente says kids are in a bit of a vulnerable state right now, with many having limited experience exposure to people over the past 15 months. Their immune systems haven't really been tested very much as a result, but all that is changing as we shift back and kids are turning up with all sorts of things. Something called roseola, which actually is very scary. You can have three, four, five days of high fever, then all of a sudden out of nowhere, the fever stops and poof, there's this rash that just grows. And so that usually takes a few days to recover. So we're seeing a few cases of that, and that's typically a summer thing. So we're seeing that. In addition, we're starting to see things like adenovirus, which we call a common masquerader. It can cause eye goop. It can cause respiratory symptoms. Just part of the reason Elias Orozco and his nine kids. I did. Youngest, I don't know. Has stayed away from childcare lately. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. There's kids that, you know, get the sniffles and they touch stuff. The staff is, don't have time to clean every single toy. He says he plans to send his kids back soon. And Dr. Lonzalon says as of late, they're seeing an increase in COVID in children. He notes vaccines for kids under 12 still aren't available yet. Regionally, we're involved with some of the clinical uh, trials with regards to the Moderna vaccine coming down in age group up in Los Angeles. Our group is working on that as well. So hopefully we're thinking by the fall, um, late fall is probably when the age groups will start to come down. Yeah, and as a parent, it's tough to see your kids getting sick, and it's also tough because a lot of parents are missing time from work in order to take care of these kids over the past couple of months. Uh, the doctors tell me that ages 2 to 12 should be eligible for a COVID vaccine by this fall, as you just heard from the doctor there. Uh, kids under the age of 2 could be eligible for a vaccine sometime before December. From Ready Children's Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News. All right, Jeff, thank you for that.